learners i am dr manuradha choudhury assistant professor at center of russian studies jawaharlal nehru university i welcome you all to this course basics of russian communication skills the objective of this module is to make you understand the basics of russian grammar today in this module first we will read the text in russian ya bolen then i will translate the whole text in english further text will be analyzed from point of view of grammar at the end on the basis of text some questions will be discussed here we will also focus on new verbs along with short form of adjectives and their usages in the text in this text we will also focus on the usages of different new nouns and verbs in dative and genitive cases now we are reading the text and this text is taken from the russian textbook biryoja and it is written by professor arun arunim bandopadhyay dr richa savant and dr vinu bhatnagar and the text is ya bolen sivodnya ya ni khajil na zaniatsya ya bolen kajetsya umenya grip umenya temperatura silni nasmark i balit galava utram moy sasir pakom nate skazal sto ya dolzhin itsi kavrachu ya ni lyublu khadich kavrachu patamushta on sigda dayot gorkie likarstva i zelayat inekci i ya ochin bayus inekci ya ni khatel itsik vrachu no ya chustoval sibya ochin plokha v kanse kansof ya pashol v plani kliniku ka toraya na khodetsya ni daliku med sestra skazala sto vrat zanet ya dojen padajjat ivo v pali klinike ne katarie balnie ishosh dali suaye ochirizi sleva atmenia sijel pajiloi moshina kajetsya sto pajiloi moshina stradal at jeltuhi yevo koja i glaza i meli jolti cvet riadam s mnoi sijel maladoi cilavek yevo glaza bili krasnie na verna u nivo kanyun cvet cires nikatore vremya vrach pazval minya ona smatrel minya izmeril temperaturu a potom skazal što minja visokaya temperatura on napisal recept i pa savetoval zelac na vsaki slučaj analiz krvi i pokazač rezultati čez gen on takže obesnil kak prinimač lekarstva i skazal popravljajte skorje ja više šasljivim pa ta mošta vetat rad vrač ni zelen menje in nekcijo now i am translating the text into english ya bolen i am sick today i did not go to classes i am sick i think i have flu i have fever severe running nose and headache in the morning my roommate said that i should go to the doctor i did not like to go to the doctor because he always gives me bitter medicines and injections and i am really scared of the injection i did not want to go to the doctor but i felt unwell at the end i went to the clinic which is located not very far from my place the nurse told the doctor is busy 
I have to wait for him. In the clinic, some patients were still waiting for their turn. To my left, an elderly man was sitting. It seems that this elderly man was suffering from jaundice. His skin and eyes were of yellow color. Next to me, a young man was sitting and his eyes were red. Probably he had conjunctivitis. After a while, the doctor called me and he examined me, measured the temperature and then said that I have high temperature. He wrote prescription and advised to do a blood test in any case and show the results after a day. He also explained how to take medicine and said get well soon. I came out happily because this time doctor did not give me an injection. Dear learners, in this text we have lot of new nouns and adjectives. Let's know their meaning in English. Grip. Grip means flu. Temperatura. Temperature. Or you can say fever. Nasmuk. Nasmuk is cold. Sased pakum natse. This is a word combination and it means roommate. Gorki. And the plural is. Gorkie, that means bitter, bitter in taste. Likarstva, likarstva, medicine. Inexia, inexia, injection. Kansi kansof, kansi kansof, at the end. Mitsistra, mitsistra means nurse. Balnoi, balnoi means patient. And the plural is Balniye, patience. Ochiris. Ochiris is feminine gender noun and it means turn. Pajiloi mushina. Pajiloi means elder. Mushina means person or a man. In this word combination, you can see Pajiloi is an adjective and mushina is noun. And mushina, it looks like feminine gender noun, but it is masculine gender noun so pajiloi is adjective is taking masculine gender form so pajiloi mushina and that means elderly person jiltukha jiltukha means joined is jiltukha again is a feminine gender noun koja koja skin again feminine gender noun kanyun chivit that means conjunctivitis Recept, recept, masculine gender noun, and it means prescription, or an, another meaning is recipe, you can say. Nafsyaki sluchi. This is an expression or construction. You can say in any case, it means in any case. Crove, crove means blood. Analyse. Kravi, this expression, this word combination you must have seen in the text in Russian. And it means blood test. Analyse Kravi. Analyse Kravi. Blood test. Paprovlyaiches score. Again, this is an expression in Russian and that means get well soon. Now we will conjugate new verbs of this text. The first verb is Bayatsa. Bayatsa is an imperfective verb and it means to be afraid of. It always takes genitive case and answers to the question Kavo Chivo. And I am conjugating this verb in present. So Ya Bayus. Ya Bayus means I am afraid. Ti Baishya means you are afraid. On ana baitsya, he or she afraid. Me baimsya, we are afraid. We baiches, you are afraid. 
Ani Bayatsya. They are afraid. Dear learners, again I am reminding you that verbs in present form are conjugated or changes for person and number. However, in the past tense, verbs do not change for person. They change for number and gender only. So now I am conjugating this verb in past. Ya ti on bayalsya masculine gender form he was afraid i was afraid or you can say you were afraid ya ti ana bayalis for feminine gender i am afraid you were afraid or she was afraid that all the, these forms belongs to feminine gender me vi ani bayalis plural form means me bayalis we were afraid we bayalis you were afraid ani bayalis they were afraid chustva vach and perfective aspect of the verb chustva vach is pa chustva vach but in this text i am not going to conjugate the verb pa chustva vach i am going to conjugate only chustva vach and similarly like the conjugation of chustva vach you can conjugate pa chustva vach also chustva vach means to feel and conjugation is like that ya chust wo you i feel ti chust wo yes you feel on ana chust wo yet he or she feels me chust wo em we feel we chust wo ichi you feel ani chust wo you they feel and conjugation is past is ya ti on chustva wal for masculine gender and translation could be he felt or ya chustva wal i felt ti chustva wal you felt ya ti ana chustva wala for feminine gender ya chustva wala i felt ti chustva wala you felt ana chustva wala she felt me we ani chustva wali for plural forms me chustva wali we felt we chustva wali you felt ani chustva wali they felt another verb is stradach and its perfective aspect is pastradach stradach means to suffer and it answers to the question achhi wo at kavo it always takes genitive case ya stradayu ya stradayu means i suffer ti stradayesh you suffer on ana stradayet he or she suffers me stradayem we suffer vi stradayche you suffer ani stradayut they suffer and conjugation in past is ya ti on stradal for masculine gender translation will be on stradal he suffered ya ti anastradala for feminine gender anastradala she suffered me vi anistradali for plural anistradali means they suffered me stradali we suffered vi stradali you suffered next verb is pazwach its imperfective aspect is zwach ya pazavu i will call as you remember perfective verbs they indicate future tense for present conjugation so ya pazavu when we are conjugating in present so they are indicating future ya pazavu will be translated as i will call ti pazavyosh you will call on ana pazavyot he or she will call me pazavyo we will call we pazavyoche you will call ani pazavut they will call and in past ya ti on pazwal ya pazwal i called 
the pazwal you called on pazwal he called ya ti ana pazwala ya pazwala i called ti pazwala you called ana pazwala she called me we ani pazwali for plural means me pazwali we called we pazwali you called ani pazwali they called and conjugation of another verb is marriage that means to measure and its imperfective aspect is is marriage but in this text we came across to the verb is marriage so here i am conjugating is marriage ya is marry you that means i will measure because this is perfective verb t is marish you will measure on ana is married he or she will measure me is marry you will measure we is marriage you will measure ani is maryat they will measure and its conjugation in past is ya ti on is meril ya is meril i measured ti is meril you measured on is meril he measured ya ti ana is merila for feminine gender ya is merila i measured ti is merila you measured ana is merila she measured and in plural me we ani is me really me is me really we measured we is me really you measured ani is me really they measured next verb is saveta watch and its perfective aspect is per saveta watch so in present i am conjugating verb saveta watch imperfective aspect ya save to you that means i advise ti save to yesh you advise on ana save to it he or she advises me save to him we advise we save to iche you advise ani save to youth they advise and its conjugation in past is ya ti on savetawal ya savetawal means i advised ti savetawal you advised on savetawal he advised ya ti ana savetawala for feminine gender ya savetawala means i advised ti savetawala you advised ana savetawala she advised and for plural me we ani saveta wali means me saveta wali we advised we saveta wali you advised ani saveta wali they advised another verb is prini march prini march takes question to prini march likar swa to take to accept or you can say to receive something and conjugation in present is ya prinimayu that means i take ti prinimayesh you take on ana prinimayet he or she takes me prinimayem we take vi prinimayche you take ani prinimayut they take and its conjugation in past is ya ti on prinimal for masculine gender ya prinimal i took ti prinimal you took on prinimal he took ya ti ana prinimala for feminine gender ya prinimala i took ti prinimala you took ana prinimala she took me we ani prinimali for plural me prinimali we took we prinimali you took ani prinimali they took so dear learners while reading the text you must have seen the word bolen in the 
title of the text that is short form of adjective bal noi bal noi it is a qualitative adjective qualitative adjectives in russian language have short forms also which denote temporary quality of somebody or something please remember that qualitative adjectives have long and short forms in a sentence the long form is used as an attribute and the short form as predicate both short and long forms of adjectives change for gender and number for example ya ti on bolen that means on bolen he is sick ya bolen i am sick ti bolen you are sick and for feminine gender ya ti ana balna ya balna i am sick for feminine gender ti balna for feminine gender means you are sick ana balna she is sick me vi ani balni for plural me balni we are sick we balni you are sick ani balni they are sick these adjectives can be used in the past or future tense with the help of verb beach for example ana bujit balna here we are conjugating the verb beach and it is indicating future tense so ana bujit balna will be translated as she will be sick and in past we will conjugate the verb beach in past on bel bolen on bel bolen in past tense and it means he was sick dear learners now once again we will translate the text and will analyze it from the point of view of grammar sivodnia yani khajil na zania chia khajich kuda i hope you remember verbs of motion ichi khajich sivodnia means today i did not yani khajil because khajil here we are using the past form i did not go to the classes sivodnia yani khajil na zania chia khajich kuda i hope you remember khajich takes accusative case khajich for example khajich university ch khajil khajila na urok khajil na zania chia so today i did not go to the class ya bolen kajetsya uminya krip ya bolen i am sick bolen just now i have explained this is short form of adjective from the adjective balnoi and here we are using in the masculine gender form i am sick kajetsya we can use kajetsya means it seems uminya grip i have flu uminya this is a construction of genitive case and that means i have u tibia i hope you remember u as yes uminya yes from there uminya grip so i think i have flu uminya temperatura i have fever silni nas mark e balit galava uminya i have again u minya from the genitive case uminya sto temperatura silni nasmark after uminya we always takes imini chelni padesh nominative case uminya temperatura that temperatura means fever silni means severe running nose silni nasmark e balit galava and i have headache uminya balit galava that means i have headache also dear learners try to make your own construction on the same model 
u minja balit galava, u minja balit ruki, u minja balit život, u minja balit nagi. That I have headache, I have my hand is paining or I have stomach ache like that. Utram moisasyat pakomnate skazal što ya dolzhen itsi kavrachu. Utram kagda utram adverb of time utram kagda utram moisasyat pakomnate moi sasyat my roommate or my neighbor sasyat pakomnate means roommate so here my roommate skazal said što, here we are using što as conjunction, that ya dojen ichi kavrachu. Dojen means must or you have to. And after the word dojen, we always use infinitive form of the verb. Dojen ichi. Kuda ka kamu. Ichi, you know, it takes uh, question kuda, but it also takes question ka kamu ili ka chimu. So in the morning, my roommate said that I should go to the doctor. So please remember, ichi also takes ka kamu ka vrachu in dative case. So please remember, ichi kuda and ichi ka kamu. Yani lyublu khajich ka vrachu. Pata mushta on sigda dayot gorkie lekarstva in zelaek inekci. I did not like to go to the doctor because he always gives bitter medicines and injection. Gorkie lekarstva in plural. Here we are using in plural. Lekarstva is neuter gender form, neuter gender noun, but here we are using in plural. So Adjective Gorki also we are using in plural. Gorki e likarstva. Dach, that means to give. Dach shto. Dach Gorki e likarstva. Iya ochin bayus inetsi. Bayatsya chivo. Genitive case. Bayatsya always takes genitive case. Ya ochin bayus inetsi. I am really scared of the Injections. Inexia here we are using in genitive form. So, yeah, by use inexi. Ya mi hachel ichi kavrachu. I do not want to go to the doctor. Ya ni hachel. Hachel, the verb khachech. Again, we are using ichi in the infinitive form because you should remember that after conjugating one verb, second verb, verb will always take infinitive form. So, verb ichi also takes question ka kamu, ka chimu. Again, I am reminding you to denote movement towards something or someone. And the translation, again I am doing it, yani khache lichi ka vrachu will be translated as I did not want to go to the doctor. No. Ya chusawal sibya ochin plocha. But chusawal sibya. Feel myself. Sibya is reflexive pronoun. That means myself. Ya chusawal sibya ochin plocha. But I felt unwell. Kanse kansof. Kanse kansof at the end. Ya pashol pali kliniku paichi. Kuda. At the end, I went to the clinic. Pali clinica. Here we are using an accusative form. Pali cliniku. Kuda va pali cliniku. Pali cliniku. Katoraya. Katori, katoraya, katori. That I hope you remember as conjunction. Katoraya na hojitsya ni dalko. Which is located or situated nearby. Mid sestra skazala što vrach zanet. Mid sestra is nurse. Mid sestra, feminine gender noun. Mid sestra skazala što, što again here we are using as conjunction that vrach 
Zanit. Zanit here is a short form of the adjective Zaniti. So the nurse told that doctor is busy. Ya doljin padajdaj ivo. I should wait for him. Padajda doljin padajdaj. Here we are using padajdaj in infinitive form because of the word doljin. Padajdaj kavo. Padajdaj vracha ili yivo. Here we are replacing the word vracha with the pronoun yivo. Pali klinike ne katariye balniye shosh dali swaye ochiridzi. Gije pali klinike. In the pali klinike, in you use in prepositional case. Ne katariye balniye balnoi patient. Ne katariye balniye. Some patients ishosh dali swaye ochiridzi. Some patients were still waiting for their turn. Dear learners, please remember. Verb zhdaj is taking genitive case here as it is indicating indefiniteness. So, sleva atminya sijil pajiloi mushina. Sleva on the left, atminya from my side. Sijil pajiloi mushina. Please see in this sentence pajiloi mushina. In this word combination, you can see. That adjective is in masculine gender, though noun has taken feminine gender ending. Students generally make mistake. Word mushina is an exception and it is masculine gender noun. So, pajiloi mushina. Pajil adjective pajiloi is going according to the mushina masculine gender noun. So, to my left, an elderly man was. Sitting. Kajitsya shto pajiloi mushina stradal at jil tukhi. Kajitsya. It seems that shto as conjunction that this elderly man pajiloi mushina was stradal at jil tukhi. Was suffering from joinders. Jivo koja. Jivo his. Skin, e glaza, e merely jolti sweet. His skin and eyes were of yellow color. Riadam, riadam sam noi. Riadam always take instrumental case. Riadam sam noi. Sijil maladoi chilavik. Ivo glaza bili krasnie na verna univo kanyun chivit. Next to me. A young man was sitting. Maladoi chilave, young man was sitting. His eyes were red. Yivo glaza bili krasnie. His eyes were red. Naverna, naverna, probably. Univo kanyun chivit. He had conjunctivitis. Chiris nika tore vremia vrach pazval minia. Chiris after. Nekatore vremia, sometime after a while. Doctor called me. Pazvaj to call. Kavo, Pazvaj, Kavoshto, Minya. After a while, the doctor called me. On Asmatrel Minya. Asmatrej, Asmatrivaj is the perfective aspect. Asmatrej is perfective, and that means to examine. On Asmatrel Minya, Kavoshto, Minya. E is meril, simpraturu is meril is to measure and measured the temperature. A patum skazal and then said, Shto minya viso kaya simpratura. And then he said that I have high temperature. I am translating the whole sentence. He examined me, measured the temperature, and then said that I have high temperature. On napisal, Recept e pasavetavals jelach nafsiakis luci analyze kravi e pakazach resultati chiris jen. On napisal shto, napisal shto, on recept. He wrote prescription e pasavetaval jelach and he advised to do. Pasavetaval is, is in conjugated form, so jelach is taking infinitive form to do. 
Na syake sluchi in any case. Analyze kravi blood test. I pakazaj rezultati cherizin and pakazaj is to show and to show the results after a day. So once again I am translating it. He wrote prescription and advised to do in any case a blood test and show the results after a day. On takje abisnil kak prinimach likarstva is kazal papravlyaiches skore. He also takje also explained abisnyach abisnich to explain kak prinimach likarstva kak prinimach how to take medicine is kazal and said get well soon. Ya vishal shaslivim. Patamushta vetatraj vrajni zelal minye inetsio. Ya vishil ili bil shaslivim. I came out happy. Shaslivi bil shaslivim. It is taking here instrumental because of the verb which is not shown over here. I came out happy because patamushta because vetatraj this time. Vraj ni zelal minye inetsio. Doctor did not give me an injection. Now, based on the text, we will discuss some questions just to check whether you understood the text or not. The first question is, Pachimu raskaschik ni liubet khajich kavrachu. Why narrator does not like to go to the doctor? Raskaschik ni liubet Khajij ka vrachu patamushta on sikda dayot gorki likarstva i jelet i netsi. Narrator does not like to go to the doctor because doctor gives bitter medicines and injections. Second question is, kto si jel sleva at raskas chika v pali klinike? Who was sitting on the left side of the Narrator, Sleva Atraskas Chika F Pali Klinike Sijil Pajiloi Mushina On the left side of the narrator was sitting an adult man. At Chivo Stradal Pajiloi Mushina From what was suffering the adult man? Pajiloi Mushina Stradal At Jiltuhi Adult man was suffering from joindus. Achi wo stradal maladoi chilavek. From what was suffering the young man? Maladoi chilavek stradal at kanyun chivit. Young man was suffering from conjectivitis. Pachimu raskas chik vishal shaslevim. The last question is Pachimu raskas chik vishal shaslevim. Why the narrator came out happy? Raskas chik vishal shaslevim. Patamushta vetatraj vraj nizjelal yimu inetsio. Narrator came out happy because this time doctor did not give him injection. So today in this module we have covered the vocabulary related to the text ya bolen. We have also covered different nouns and their usages in the dative and genitive cases. In this text, we also came across to the expressions like papravlyaiches skore. Apart from conjugation of new verbs in present and past tense, we have also covered short form of adjectives. I hope concepts covered in the module are clear to you. Dear learners, by answering various questions of the verbs, you can make your own longer sentences, you can make your own story. The purpose here is not only of translation or getting acquainted with the vocabulary of the text, but by analyzing the text, the purpose is that you should be able to understand cases and be able to make your own sentences based on these constructions and use them in your own conversation. So kindly revise the text and practice by making your own sentences at home. Thank you.